Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy T for 365 Horror Vlogs, the channel where we attempt to watch every single horror movie in existence. And today we have another review reaction for you guys. Today for the Netflix film Incantation. <laughs> Now we're gonna get right into the video, but before we do, I gotta remind you guys to please like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that good stuff. It really helps the channel out. And with that, let's get right into it. This movie was directed by Kevin Ko. It's starring Haswan Yen Tesai, Mohammed Elgandi, and Ying Haswan Kao. The synopsis reads, six years ago, Lee Ronan was cursed after breaking a religious taboo. Now, she must protect her daughter from the consequences of her actions. The first thing I'm gonna touch on in Incantation is this scare factor, and that is the intensity I felt. And I've gotta say that this movie did great with the tension. There's a lot of tense moments, a lot of the things they do, you're just on the edge of your seat waiting, a lot of jumpy stuff, but not really too many cheap jump scares, so it was great in my opinion. Next, I'm gonna talk about the creep factor, and that's just how unsettled this movie left you. And I've gotta say, it was a pretty creepy movie. Uh, it had a lot of creepy imagery, like I had said when I talked about the trailer earlier, um, a lot of some of the faces and just the way things happen, it really sticks with you. We definitely needed to watch like a little bit of eye bleach after, that's what I call it when you know you gotta throw on like an episode of Big Bang Theory just because you're just kind of like creeped out. We watched it at night in the dark, so definitely a creepy movie for sure. Next, I'm gonna touch on the gore of this movie, and again, gore doesn't have to necessarily be present, but I do like it, so I do talk about it. This movie was middle of the road as when it came to gore. Uh, you had some gory moments for sure, again, you had the dude losing his teeth and whatnot. You had a couple other pretty gory moments, but nothing like uh, bouquets of blood and guts, you know what I mean? It's not, it wasn't nothing over the top, but it had a good gore factor for sure. Next, I'm gonna touch on the story of this movie, and this was definitely an above average story. Although there was nothing groundbreaking, I did like the premise of it, how she kind of broke the curse. The only reason I wouldn't give this a higher story score is because in the beginning, they do kind of jump around in the timelines, and until you really grasp what's going on, I sometimes felt a tiny bit lost. I'm not saying that plot is complex it's just i was like okay are we back to the past i don't know exactly what i was looking at some of the time but other than that the story was definitely competent and it was good next i'm going to touch on the characters and acting and i've got to say the characters and acting was really good in this movie the main character was well acted uh, i liked how she was kind of in turmoil the whole time uh, the little girl was decent as well uh, overall it was a decent acting job next i'm going to hang a final score on this movie and the final score i'm going to give this movie is a four out of five i find this to be a must watch found footage film one of the best i've seen in a while it has really good creepy elements good acting Thing. really good story I almost didn't even mind the subtitles at all you just get totally sucked in even with the subtitles it was really tense I found myself on the edge of the seat most of the time and this is definitely going to be a must own especially if you're a fan of found footage this is a must watch. Well guys, that's gonna do it for another one of our 365 reviews. Uh, I hope you liked this content and you found a new movie to add to your watch list. If you did like it, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that good stuff. I'm always trying to bring you a lot of content to get a lot of movies on your watch list because there's just a lot of good movies out there. So um, if you have seen this movie, then please feel free, or even if you haven't, come back, feel free to leave in the comments what you thought of this movie and if you agreed with my synopsis. I thought it was a really great movie and watch for sure. That's going to be it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. This is the blessing of God. Oh.